in 2012, I was getting pretty cocky with like, I think I know how to do this. And then Harrison Ford came on and I just unraveled because there's... He is very difficult to interview. Well, that's the other part of it. He's very... I had he was the president. him once, and it was so difficult. And he doesn't... And, and I think he is sort of like the horse that if you get nervous, it makes him, like, more difficult. Yeah. And so it wasn't his fault. It was my fault, but I just... Did you get... Re- because it's just, like, there's only one of him, and he's Han Solo, and he's Indiana Jones, and he's all these other things, and when he's in front of you, you're like, I can't believe he's real. Yes. I can and he's touch so intimidating. Him. It was when he did that, what, was it What Lies Beneath? With right. Michelle Pfeiffer? Yeah. That was the press junket that I got to go on, and here I am with Michelle Pfeiffer, and I'm just like, <sighs> I've loved you since Grease, too. It's hard like, not to. Nut. I'm as a nut. And yeah. I, just, I blew it. And then I went into Harrison, and he's just, he just doesn't suffer fools lightly. I, I, that's the way I kind of, and I felt like a fool. And it just didn't go well. Would you be more was, nervous, Kelly, interviewing him now or riding in an airplane that he's flying? Oh, interviewing <laughs> him. Or I'm Wheel of Fortune. Fly. Well, I, I, tell you, I tell you that he, um, that first of all, that experience made me never get, like, I, I was such a great learning experience. And again, he was right. I should have been Prepared. better with him. But I just got too nervous. And, you know, if you're if he's giving you his time, you should like I felt like I should have been at the level where I could have handled it. And I wasn't. I just got so like, yeah, you're amazing. Yeah. And so after that, I never did again. But I will say just because of the, the plane joke, he I, his, his demeanor changed after landing that airplane on the his, golf course. Yeah. yeah, because I moderated the panel for Force Awakens at Comic-Con. And he was a totally different guy. Really? He was so excited to be there. He was seemed well, genuinely alive. happy. Yes. <laughs> he seemed to appreciate Star Wars. Yeah, you know, cool. someone asked him, you know, especially after um, after they did the Blade Runner uh, sequel, they're like, are you just going to go around and uh, redo all the movies you did before and wrap up those storylines? And he's like, you're damn right I am. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but the first time I saw him at Comic-Con, he, some really nervous guy got up to ask a question and they were, and it's a, I'm sure a question he's been asked a million times. They're like, hey, Mr. Ford, um, hi, uh, nice to meet you. So what would Indiana Jones say if he met Han Solo? And Harrison Ford just goes, uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and he just totally shut the kid down. And, but he's totally changed. He's totally changed. He seems like he's changed. Is he still rocking the earring? I think he's still rocking the earring, yeah. yeah. He's got to. I think he enjoys a bit of the um, the marijuana, doesn't he? Isn't he kind of a... a brownie or two. Doesn't he? I don't know if that's true. I'm not t- talking out of school. Legal, but I legal where he lives. So it is, yeah. It's legal in California.